Hi, spiritual beings. Thanks for joining me with another episode of Still Growing. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Okay, so I want to talk about uh, forgiveness. And I don't mean the typical biblical forgiveness of turning the other cheek, because I really don't believe in that. I do believe in forgiveness, the forgiveness of those who ask for forgiveness, and also absolute forgiveness um, to yourself. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about forgiveness because... For the last couple of nights, um, actually, to be fair, it's been, I would say, over a year that I've been having these dreams. And it's always about the same um, situation and having the same person in the stream. And the person that's in the stream is not the actual person who I had a conflict with, uh, a disagreement with. But I, I know when I wake up, I know exactly who that person is. What's happening in the dream is that this woman keep approaching me and, you know, saying these things to me that um, just trying to pick a fight with me. And of course, uh, <laughs> I, get, I decide that, OK, well, let's rumble. And we're arguing back and forth. And I get so uh, emotionally involved in this fight that when I wake up in the morning, I'm always so angry. And so last night this happened and I wake up in the morning and wouldn't you know it, I end up kicking my husband because, um, you know, I got out of this dream and I was fighting in the dream and woke up fighting. And so... I got up and I, I, you know, I was just feeling it all throughout my body. And so I decided, you know what, let me go out for a walk. And I went outside and this is what I saw. <laughs> um, and if you live in, in a country that has snow, whenever, I always feel as if that whenever snow falls or if you're in a country that has rain, uh, a lot of rain or the rainy season, I always feel that when that happened, like that time of year, is always a time of renewal. It's always a time that you should be sort of cleaning out your closet, you know. Um, and I mean that in terms of yourself, you know. What are the things within yourself that you're struggling with that you need to clean out? And um, forgiveness in regards to to a relationship with that particular person is, is something that I definitely need to deal with. And I sort of fooled myself in believing that I've dealt with it because I speak with the person just fine. I get along with the person just fine. But in my heart of hearts, But in my heart of hearts, I know and have always known that I truly haven't forgiven that person. And so, you know, when someone has hurt you and it's somebody that you care about, it hurts you to the core. And you can get to the point that you, you're living sort of a facade. You treat them regular, but internally, your heart and your soul knows how you feel. And if you haven't dealt with it, that anger and that resentment and that fear can eat your life. And it plays on your unconscious. And although you may be acting and behaving like everything is okay, until you've, until you've actually dealt with it, your unconscious is going to keep playing it back to you. And that's exactly what has been happening um, where now and again I would be having these dreams of this, um, this woman which I'm having a disagreement with. And it makes me so angry that when I come out of that dream, I am still angry. And so I wanted to, you know, jump on here and just talk about forgiveness in terms of 
not necessarily forgiveness for the purpose of the other person. And definitely that's important. If someone has asked for forgiveness and you know, and you know that that person really is sorry for whatever the behavior is, whatever it is that they've done, then you definitely should be giving forgiveness to that person. And as I said at the top of the video, I'm not referring to, um, you know, turn the other cheek when someone does something to you to, you know, just let them continue to do it. Because one thing you should never do is that you should never forget. And that's what, and that's why history is important. You know, you should never forget history, never forget what has happened in the past because it will play itself again, right? But uh, forgiveness is so important. It's important for your spirit and it's important for your soul. It's important for you. That's the main uh, purpose of it, for forgiveness. Forgiveness is for you. It's not for the other person. It's not to, um, to say that I have approved of your behavior or letting you behave or treat me a certain way and get away with it. Forgiveness is not so much about the other person as it is about you. And I don't necessarily mean that you have to speak to the other person. You don't have to call up the person and say, you know what, I forgive you. Actually, that would be a little bit weird if the person doesn't e wasn't even seeking your forgiveness. Um, but it's important to forgive um, within your own quietness, within your own understanding, whether it means writing a letter and, you know, and just expressing yourself and then ripping that up or burning it, um, whatever way you want to get rid of it, but, but expressing your feelings and then um, know that that's the end of it, right? Because once you are holding on to um, anger and resentment and fear and all of that, you're blocking your, your joy. You're blocking your, um, you're blocking positive vibes from um, entering your life. You're blocking your blessings from flowing. It's like having a drawer in your house that is full of junk, you know, and until you've actually emptied out that drawer, until you're able to get rid of all the things that in that drawer, then you're not able to buy new beautiful things to put in that drawer. And so you're just stuck with that old junk drawer, which is not useful to you. It's just a pain in the butt, right? Um, so yeah, um, another thing that we forget in terms of forgiveness is that mistakes, whether it was another person's mistake or your mistakes are extremely important in life. They're important because these are, these are the things that are our lesson in life. They teach us how to grow and how to um, expand into boundaries that we never thought that we could ever enter because these are our um, passport, so to speak. Once we've learned these lessons, once we're able to get past them, then we're able to grow as individuals. And I think what happens a lot of time is that we get stuck in that hurt and we don't ever want to get rid of it and not realizing that we're actually hurting ourselves. And the last thing I wanted to say about uh, forgiveness is that when we refuse to forgive and to move on, the reason we the reason we're unable to do that is because we mistakenly think that another person has the ability to alter who we are, to change our destiny, right? If somebody has done something to us, no matter how cruel and unthinking that behavior is, they do not have control of your destiny, of who you are, of your purpose in life. And we give up our, um, we give up our power when we begin to think that, um, that person has hurt us, has hurt us so much that we're unable to forgive them. 
it's us then putting up a stop sign in our life, right? Um, we have to understand that, you know, as, as divine being, and I always prefer to use the word divine rather than God because there's so many misunderstanding in relation to the word God, so I prefer to use divine, right? But what happens is that we, we think that, you know, um, that an, another individual has the ability to stop us because each and every one of us has been given a purpose in life by the divine one. And no matter what anyone does to us or who that person could be, whether it's your, um, it's your parents or it's your best friend or it's a total stranger or, you know, or it's a murderer, it doesn't matter. No one has the ability to, um, to change that purpose in your life. And so we need to realize that and realize that when, you know, when things happen, they, they happen um, because things just happen. And they also happen because it might be, as I said before, a lesson for you, or it might be a lesson for the other person. And so that's why we should just let things flow, let it flow. Um, forgive and never forget, forgive and move on with your life. Because once you're able to forgive, then you're able to um, allow the blossom of life to grow within you. You see how life is? Um, <laughs> you never completely know everything or even the things that you think you know. You always have to come back to them and make sure that you're actually practicing them, that you not just know them, but you're doing it. Because here I am thinking, you know, I have forgiven this person. I've gotten over this. I've moved on. And my mind knew better that I hadn't gotten past it. And so that's why it keeps coming back to me over the last year and a half. I've been having these dreams maybe once a month or once, you know, every six weeks or so, because I never really dealt with it. Honestly, forgive. If you don't actually truly mean it, forgive and mean it, then it's going to play itself out in your life in some way or the other. So here I am <laughs> dealing with that and I'll deal with it. A matter of fact, before I did this video, I did a little meditation. What I'm going to do is on my next video, I'll, I'll actually share that with you. So I'll, on my next video, I'll share, I'll share the meditation that I did in terms of forgiving and moving on with your life. Until next time, peace and love. Bye.